All right, so you have been asking about how I do my rats up here. Uh, I'd be easier to show you rather than tell you about it. So there we go. I got a little, little cart right here. I just take this dude over here. This is my rat barn. A whole lot of action going on in there. And first, let me always make sure this valve right here is off when you're connecting water. Otherwise, if one of these was left on, by the time you get back, it's going to be full of water. Somebody's going to drown. Something's going to get wet. Feet are going to be uncomfortable. So now we check to make sure that's good. Let's grab the little wagon. And I always like to make sure my quick connect end is pointed towards the back. This part is pretty simple. You just bam, there it is. And then we're going to drag this dude through the snow. All the way up there. So, this. and it automatically unwinds. Super fun. So, if you're watching this, it means you're one of the ones helping me out while I'm away. And I want to tell you, I really freaking appreciate you. I'm worried about leaving not so much the leaving part or the training or anything like that I'm worried about my animals but at the house you see I've got quick connect here too just jam that bad boy in there sometimes you gotta push this up Kind of a pain. I need to get something in here. I gotta set you down. Set you down. One sec. Before I go, I'm gonna put a new quick. Yeah. There we go. Just like that. Now we're on. Over the frozen busted in here somewhere. Yeah. Fixing that for the hose to go up with this freaking cold. So freaking what is January? 20th, 19th, 19th, all right, I just come over here, gotta make sure that's not kinked up, this may or may not work, come here, go, make sure that's not gone. Each one of these has a valve above. Some are a little easier to get to than others. Angle up here, and I've got one up there. I've also got one right here. This one's kind of fiddly because you got to pull the top off. Yeah, there's one there. Huh? Hopefully by now you got water trickling out. If you do, I think we did something right. Well, another thing I like to do is right up here I've got a light. A charger for it right here if it's dead or if there's another light. Uh, let me stick that on top of there. Because it helps to shut this first light off. 
And now we're filling water. Yeah. This is my freaking mess. <laughs> so I know it's not something that's pretty standard and I've kind of made it my own, but seems to work for me most times. Um, if you ever run into a problem with water lines, like if you open a line or if you open a bin, it's like full of water or something like that. No. It's usually if it's full of water, it means this end here has either got something trapped inside of this or, or something like that. I've got a little kit here on my cart. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's there. Sometimes I don't even know where it's at. But inside of these, you look here, this is the part that they drink from, the other part here. But usually what goes wrong is when you pull this stem out, there's like a spring here. And there's stuff jammed up inside of there. If you close that, clean that spring off and then screw it all back together, you're usually in good shape. But there's a small O-ring and a small spring too if you want to replace that. Or you could just move rats to a different rack and try to pinch that line off. I don't know how you would do that. Other than, or you could put a new valve in there. I'll get some new valves coming too. Just to... But yeah. Usually a little faster than that, but that's how I do water. And then when I'm done, I always make sure to shut that valve off, and then I'll go disconnect. Hang out why this is dripping slow. But again, if you're watching this, that means you're one of the ones that's helping me out while I'm gone. And I, I can't thank you enough. But I'll make a few more videos. More stuff in the reptile room to pay attention to. Yeah, thank you.